Hi everyone, welcome to Code Kamka YouTube channel. I hope everybody are doing good. In the last video, we had discussed about how to install MLflow tool on your local setup and remote server. And continuing the series today, we will be discussing about the concept called as MLflow components. So we have a few MLflow components such as tracking projects and MLflow model registries and surveys and MLflow UI and MLflow auto login. So we'll be discussing about each one of the component uh, and we'll moving into the practical in the upcoming session. So the first one, like MLflow tracking. So MLflow tracking is a tool that we use for logging and monitoring our experiments. So it will allow us you to keep track of your parameters, metrics, uh, whenever you make a number of runs on each experiment. So it will get a track of all your parameters, like whatever it is getting a triggered from your code and it will uh, mark it into the MLflow uh, tracker and it will be stored over there. And you can make a better experimentation with the monitoring and visualization. And second one, MLflow project. So MLflow project, uh, we can say that is a way of uh, packaging all your code and uh, it requires dependencies that uh, it can be usually uh, easily can run and shared by others. So if you have any uh, team member who would like to run the same project in his uh, environment, so you can use your MLflow project and you can package it all the source code with the required dependence and you can share to your uh, colleague and he will run the same code into his, his uh, respected environment. So that's about MLflow project. And the next one is MLflow model. So MLflow model is, 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 is provide a standard format, like, you know, we can save and manage your machine learning model for future use case and deployments. So in MLflow models, like, you know, we have uh, different types of, uh, you know, uh, standard formats. Like if you are using a, a scikit-learn, you can use a pickle and TensorFlow, you can use a PB as a format. And if you are using Keras, you can use .h5 and, uh, if you're using uh, PyTorch, you can use .pt. And if you're using Exeboost, you can use .exeb. And if you're using H2O, you can use a, a O and an X as a formats to save your models. So MLflow can do that to save your model in a respected format. And the next one is a MLflow registry. So MLflow registry is the MLflow registry is kind of a centralized repository uh, where you can manage your uh, machine learning models based on the versions. You can store your machine learning model uh, by uh, uh, MLflow registry based on the tags and versions and the runs like, you know, as, as I mentioned with the different formats. And the, ne the next one is MLflow serving. So MLflow serving uh, is kind of thing that where it will allow us to deploy our machine learning model as a APIs and uh, making them uh, accessible to the real world production. So if you would like to share your uh, entire machine learning uh, like model uh, as API, you can deploy it, you can share to your respected people where they can utilize it. So that's about MLflow serving. And MLflow UI, so it's kind of a web interface that uh, provide the visual overview of our experiments and runs and it will allow us to compare in between the experiments, uh, sorry, uh, experiments instead of grouping all the runs. And the next one is uh, MLflow autologging. So uh, MLflow autologging is a feature uh, that we can use automatically log our parameters, metrics, and models without requiring manual logging code, without adding an extra piece of code into for logging purpose. So we can take uh, advantage of auto logging where uh, whenever uh, a code runs, it will go and automatically punch your metrics and logs over uh, MLflow. So these are all the components of MLflow and we will be looking at the component like where the first we'll see the tracking projects, models and registry and serving and UI and auto logging and we'll discuss into practicality in this uh, MLflow uh, series. So I hope clear for everybody about the definition. And uh, if you have any confusion, I uh, request you to drop your comments in comment section. I'm happy to reply you back on this. 
So that's all for this lecture. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my YouTube channel called Kamkaji and share to your friends. Until then, thank you. Bye-bye.